They appreciate progress made by the Copper Belt Energy Corporation in fostering growth and development in the renewable energy sector. The Energy Forum for Africa wants to bring together stakeholders to ensure an energy sufficient Zambia by 2030. The idea is to bring uh, financial institutions, to bring government um, uh, offices, to bring in uh, private sector as well as um, public sector to come and work together in order for us to make sure that we are energy sufficient by 2030. And Copper Belt Energy Corporation is at the center of development in renewable energy. In the, the Energy Forum for Africa conference last year, we committed to say we were embarking on uh, the ATMP2 solar project. Uh, on the back foot of that, we we, we started with the pilot project. The power utility has secured financing for phase two of the solar plant expansion in Kitwe's Itimpi area. We were able to finance uh, the construction of uh, the Itimpi phase two solar plant using uh, a green bond which was issued uh, on 5th December 2024. Uh, to the tune of $96.7 million. The project is expected to start after the rainy season with completion targeted for the first quarter of 2026. The contractor, Tibia Sun Oasis Co. Limited, uh, is on the ground. Uh, they are conducting their studies uh, and we, we expect them to commence construction. Uh, just once the rainy season is over, we should start to see construction. This is a, indeed a tremendous uh, uh, transaction in Zambia one because uh, it pushes the green agenda uh, it was the second green bond ever issued in this country and the largest of course uh, secondly uh we all know the energy crisis that Zambia is uh, going through. The team from the Energy Forum for Africa is happy with the Copper Belt Energy Corporation's investment in renewable energy. And as uh, Energy Forum for Africa, I would like to see that we come to 500 megawatts target by the end of um, quarter 4, 2025. Chembe Mbale, ZNBC News in Kitwe.